Hello, this is Caleb Barney with Russell Real Estate Services, and this is part two to the Consumer Guide to Agency Relationships form. Uh, in part one, we did go over the first half of the state-mandated form. And again, just to remind you, this is not a contract, and it does not obligate you to use Russell Real Estate Services in any way. Uh, so in part one, we went over what, what seller agency was and what buyer agency was and what it means to you. Uh, if you have any questions on that, I definitely recommend to go back and review that video, and then you can always ask me if you have any other questions. But in this video, we're going to go over dual agency, an in-company split agency, and basically uh, the compensation to the brokerage. So for dual agency, that is allowed in the state of Ohio. And what uh, happens there is when the same agent and brokerage that represent the seller also end up representing the buyer in that transaction. So when that happens, the brokerage and its agents become dual agents, and they must maintain a neutral position in the transaction. Essentially, they are there to relay information from the buyer uh, to the seller and vice versa, and uh, they're there to make sure that both sides are fulfilling their contractual obligations. But they are not allowed to advocate the position of one client over another, nor are they allowed to disclose any confidential information to the other party without written consent. That's the third type of agency allowed in the state of Ohio. The fourth type is going to be called an in-company split agency. For this, um, it's when the buyer and seller are each represented by two different agents from the same brokerage. So again, I work with Russell Real Estate Services. Say I'm representing you to purchase a home, and we get under contract with a home listed by another Russell Real Estate Services agent. Um, in that case, the brokerage and its managers are going to be considered the dual agent, uh, and then they have to maintain a neutral position and cannot advocate for the position of one client over the other. Uh, the brokerage will also protect all of the confidential information of both parties, but keep in mind here, this is when the buyer's agent is still representing the best interests of the buyer, and the seller's agent is representing the best interests of the seller. So you likely won't really notice the difference between an in-company split agency uh, transaction and one where you're just being represented by a uh, buyer's agent or a listing agent. When working with Russell Real Estate Services, uh, we do represent both buyers and sellers, therefore it is possible for an in-company split agency to occur. And again, because the state of Ohio allows it, uh, we are also, uh, we also run the, I don't want to say risk, but we, uh, we can also engage in dual agency. And if that does occur, uh, then you'll be asked to consent to that in writing. If you do not agree to dual agency, then you could either ask for another agent in Russell Real Estate to represent you, or you can seek representation from either an attorney or another brokerage. So those are your other options. Working with other real estate brokers, Russell Real Estate Services, when we list a home for sale, uh, it also cooperates with and offers compensation to other brokerages that represent buyers. Um, so this is common for industry practice. Uh, you should just know that the uh, that Russell Real Estate Services does reserve the right to vary the compensation that it offers to other brokerages, and that will be laid out uh, in your exclusive right to sell agreement. For the other compensation to the broker, uh, so again, when you're looking to sell, there is a completely different form for this. When you're looking to buy, though, uh, just know that the only other thing thing that you'll be charged for is just a brokerage commission of $265. Uh, and then that brokerage commission will only be charged to you uh, in the event that you purchase a property through Russell Real Estate Services. And then lastly, we have our fair housing statement where it just says that it's illegal to discriminate against the nine protected classes, uh, which are race, color, religion, sex, familial status, ancestry, military status, disability, and or national origin. So you're not allowed to uh, discriminate against anybody when looking to uh, you know, sell or rent your house for financing or in the provision of real estate brokerage services.